Hey guys, Jay with Outlaw Barbecue Smokers. Tonight we are unveiling our new, what we're calling hideout trailer. We've been working on this for a long time. We're super excited. We think it's going to fit the bill perfectly for a lot of people out there cooking barbecue, whether it's comp cooks with an RV or guys just showing up on a, on a Saturday doing a backyard. This will do it all. So we're excited. So let's let's take a quick look at this kit. This one in particular has a 2860 uh, front load with the glass door. Uh, we've got jacks on four corners. So once you get the trailer leveled, if you want to stabilize it, if you end up wanting to put a rooftop tin or a 270 or 180 awning, anything on it, I don't see a lot of that happening, but it would be an option. We've got the big off-road tires, uh, flat, Fenders, so you can use it a little bit of wharf area and and as we just kind of work our way across this we we went ahead and put a door here there's not a lot of storage under the pit but you know somebody might put a patio or 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 a 2460 on here there'll be a little more room there's still room for charcoal wood stuff you need just to manage your fire um, and then we come up here the box you know it's it's got room for pretty much anything you're going to need at a comp we did, we, we originally started with some fold up doors and stuff and it was like, you know, you get aggravated because you got stuff on the door, you got to get in. So we ended up putting some, some spring pins that'll lock it and, it and the door will slide forward. So you can have all your rubs, cutting boards, whatever, if you're using this as a work surface. We've also got this uh, floating pan that, that, that you can move around and then plenty of room inside. You know, you could put a water package in there, you could do whatever you want it coming on up front we've got a spare tire which is obviously needed it's it's out of your way we've got a super nice jack which jacks are hard to be super nice but it, it's a good one we've got the brake controller you can check make sure everything's working there uh heaven forbid you ever ever have an accident or come unhooked it'll it'll hit the brakes for you um and then here we've got on this unit we've got about pushing 30 inches inside so, you know, if you're cooking IBCA and you want to put a Weber kettle up here, you've got room. Uh, some of you guys will cook one category on a drum, so you could put a drum here. And, he, you know, even if you decided not to put an outlaw at all on here, you could buy this trailer and, and you know, use it for whatever you want. Plenty of room. We made that easy to get in. We've got D-rings located all the way down the sides just to to make sure you can secure your generator, whatever you want to do. Here we've got, we did a cargo rack and we made sure we had enough room underneath for a Cambro. So a Cambro will fit under and ergonomically, I really like it up here, but you know, everybody's just, they got their own way and own style. So whatever they want to put up here. Um, moving on to the back, we did put a two inch receiver. If you wanted a cargo rack, whatever you want there. We've also got a door here that opens. One of, the, one of the next models we're making, I know, is going to have 60-inch slides here to hold a hog cooler so they can pull the cooler out and get the hog out um, without struggling. It'd be, it'd be too high up here. And that's just, you know, the sky's going to be the limit with this. We can, we can pretty much adapt it to what people want. We can put any pit on this particular trailer up to and including our 3080s and 2880s. And we're just excited. So... Anyway, I will try. I'm not usually real good at answering questions, but I'll try to get back. And anybody has anything, hit me up. Thank you.